Okay, let's look at how to um, find area of triangles. You've done this before in the past, so hopefully today with the formulas more review, but then we might add some things that we've learned this year in finding the area. So the formula's up there at the top, area equals one half, the B stands for base, and the H stands for height. So if you need to write that down, B stands for base, and H stands for height. One thing I want you to remember is the base and height have to be perpendicular in a triangle. So look for that right angle and that'll tell you who the base and height is. So I gave you a visual here to remind you height and base have to be perpendicular. So if we look at example one, we look for that right angle, which means our base and height are both right here. So we've got to find those. Well, we know that this is an isosceles triangle and if it's isosceles, two sides are the same and two angles are the same. So if those two acute angles are the same, then we know that both of these have to be 45 degrees. And if those are 45 degrees, then we need to set up a 45-45 tic-tac-toe. Okay, we know 10 is across from the 90, so we can put the 10 there. That's not what it's supposed to be. We don't get to add the square root of two, so we have to set these two equal to each other. So x square root of two equals 10, and we have to rationalize. So divide by the square root of two on both sides. We can't leave the radical there, so multiply by the square root of two. So multiply straight across, not like terms, so just put them side by side. And those are like terms. We know it's a square root of four, which does give us two. Then we ask ourselves, can we simplify 10 over two? Yes, that gives us five square root of two. So that's gonna go both here and here, which means that becomes our base and our height. So now we have everything we need. Now let's review how to work with radicals because they do want us to find the perimeter and the area. And remember, perimeter is just adding up all the three sides. So if we're doing the perimeter here, we know the sides are 10 plus five square root of two plus five square root of two. Those are your three sides. Well, you can only combine like terms and the only like terms we have are these two. So we bring down that 10. How many square roots of two do we have? We have 10 square root of two. Those two are not like terms, so they cannot be combined. So that becomes your perimeter. And we're working, it didn't give us a unit, so we'll just put units there. So now let's find the area. Remember, base times height divided by two. We said our base and height were both the same. They're both five square root of two. So let's set up that formula. Five square root of two times five square root of two, base times height divided by two. Or you can multiply it by half, whatever works best for you. So let's combine our like terms. Inside times, or outside times outside gives us 25. Inside times in, inside gives us square root of four over two. Well, I know the square root of four is two, and those two would cancel, which means our area is just gonna be 25 units squared. So the thing with radicals is outside times outside, inside times inside. So really pay attention to that and then look and combine your like terms where you can. All right, example two. They want us to find the area of triangle ABC. Well, we start out with the kite, so let's highlight triangle ABC. We're just working with this triangle here. We have the height as nine, so we know that we need base and height. We have the height of nine, but we're missing the base. So because it's a height, we know that our diagonals are, I mean, sorry, because it's a kite, our diagonals are perpendicular, which means we do have a right triangle. And if we're missing a side in a right triangle, then we can use Pythagorean theorem to help us find those missing side lengths. So let's see what parts of this we have. Nine could be either your A or your B. 41 is across from the right angle, so that has to be our C. And so we're gonna move this nine squared over we can plug that into our calculator, 41 squared minus nine squared, B squared would equal 1600. And then if we square root that, B would equal 40. And so now we know that this side is 40, which does give us 
our base up here. Those two b's are not the same thing. Down here it's for Pythagorean theorem at the bottom, and up at the top it's b for base in our formula. So now we have all three sides, so we can find the perimeter. So we can say 9 plus the 40 plus the 41, which gives us 90. We're working with feet. Area, we would say base times height divided by 2. Plug that into your calculator, and you would get 180. So just make sure and locate your right angle. That gives you your base and height, and then you multiply them and divide by 2. But again, you may have to use some of your right triangle rules to help you find the base and height. So just pay attention with what's given in the problem.